If you plan on installing CAT 5e or CAT 6 in your home, you must learn these two networking installations. The first installation is learning how to wire up Ethernet plugs the easy way. And I'm referring to CAT 5e or CAT 6. The second installation is installing a network wall jack. And this can be CAT 5e or CAT 6. So first, I'm gonna show you how to install Ethernet plugs the easy way. We're gonna use CAT6, but you can use CAT5D if you want. So like I said, you need a cable. We're gonna do CAT6. You also need RJ45 connectors. Make sure they're CAT6 as well. These are the easy kind. And optional is a wire boot. And this boot will protect the RJ45 connector from damage. I recommend these, but it's optional. And that's it for supplies. Now what tools do you need? Well really, all you're gonna need is a crimping tool. That's it. Because this crimping tool also has a blade for doing like cutting and stripping of wires. Okay, the first thing you want to do is cut your Ethernet cable to length. And make sure to add about 4 inches. This gives 2 inches for each side to make the RJ45 connection. So use the stripping tool on your crimper to remove the sheath. Just a few twists is all you need. This crimping tool is an easy crimper, also known as a pass-through crimping tool. And this tool was $29. There are cheaper brands, but buyer beware, they may not last. Next, unravel all 4 pairs of wires. Now you want to go ahead and cut off the white pull string, and then unravel all 8 pairs of wires. This CAT6 riser cable is 23 gauge. This cable is from a company called Southwire, and 500 feet of this cable is around $95, which is not bad. This CAT6 riser cable does not have a plastic inner core, so this cable is pretty easy to work. Okay, after you unravel all the wires, take all 8 wires and straighten them out flat. The better of a job you do straightening these wires and making them flat, the easier it is to put inside the RJ45 connector. And if you're going to use a wire boot, go ahead and put it on now. And a 100 pack of these wire boots is $8. Alright, now I'm going to cut the wire straight across. I found this makes it easier to organize the wires into the T568B configuration. When the wires are too long, they can get kind of tangled up. So once you've cut the wires, go ahead and organize the wires. And here's the wiring diagram. You have white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, brown. Once you have these all organized, make sure the wires are straight and flat again, and then insert them into the RJ45 connector like this. And you can get 100 of these RJ45 connectors, the CAT6, for about 20 bucks. Push the wires all the way up as far as possible. That blue sheath needs to go up all the way inside the RJ45 connector, as far as it will go. Now insert the RJ45 connector into the RJ45 connector on your crimping tool and make sure it's pushed in all the way, as far as it'll go. Then squeeze down until you hear it snap. And you can do it one or two more times, just to make sure it's a good connection. Now pull it out of the tool and take a close examination to make sure it looks good. You can even take a close up picture with your phone to make sure the wires are in the correct order and that everything looks good. Now slide the boot on and you're done. All right, the second installation is how to install a network wall jack. And once again, we're using CAT6, but you can use CAT5e as well. So guys, for this installation, it's very simple. All you need is an RJ45 wall jack. This is a CAT6. And you're also going to need some cable, whether it's CAT5e or CAT6. And regardless of which cable you have, CAT5e or CAT6, the wiring is all the same. You also need a wall plate, one port, two port, or whatever you want, because this will snap in after you're done. And you're also gonna need a punch down tool. Now I know what you're gonna say, this is not very big, it's kind of small. They make a larger punch down tool, but really, this works just fine. And the great thing about these, they're free. When you buy a wall jack plug, it comes with a punch down tool. And the last thing you need is a wire stripper. I'm gonna go ahead and use this crimping tool because it already has a wire stripper right here. All right guys, the first thing you wanna do is strip back the wires about two inches. And FYI, most crimping tools have a wire stripper built right into them. Pretty cool. So now all four pairs of wires are exposed. Go ahead and cut off that white pull string. You won't need it. And now you can carefully unwrap all eight wires. Once all eight wires are unwrapped, you then want to straighten them out. And a little trick I learned, use that blue wire cover you just pulled off to help straighten the wires. It works great and is easy on your fingers. After you straighten out all eight wires, you need to separate the wires four to the left and four to the right. So on the left, going from top to bottom, is brown, white, brown, orange, orange, white. And on the right side, going from top to bottom, is blue, white, blue, white, green, and green. And now you're ready to insert all eight wires into the Castix wall jack. 
make sure to push the wires down as far as possible using your fingers. And then once they're all pushed down, go back with the punch down tool to seat the wires all the way down as far as possible. And I usually do this twice to make sure they're all pushed down. After they're all pushed down, trim off the excess wires. And now you can insert the wall jack into the wall plate, like this. These wall jack plugs come with a wire cover for the top, but for some reason I lost mine. It's probably somewhere in my toolbox. But here's a video clip of that process. And this is the finished product. And once again guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. And guys, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive.